Hello, primary two. How are you doing? Yeah. Today, like uh, I told you earlier, we're going to be doing fingerprints. Yeah. There are so many uh, artworks you can do with fingerprints. You can make uh, different types of animals, just like I showed you. That, like the page I I sent you to, to the WhatsApp. You can see so many things you can do with fingerprints. But today, we're going to do just one uh, creature with the fingerprints, and that's the caterpillar. So let's don't waste time. I hope you have all your, uh, your, your, your materials with you. You have the poster color, the brushes, you know, water, and so on, your paper. So if you have all that, come on, let's move it, all right? Let's do it. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take a paintbrush there, wet the brush, you can see I have my poster colors here, that's red, yellow, orange, green, blue, uh, is that indigo, purple, right, uh, this is not real indigo, it's kind of a very light pinkish. All the same, we want to make a multicolored um, uh, millipede. So let's start off. So, materials needed, you can see them here. Uh, other things you need are your fingers. Yep. So, let's wet the brush and take this first poster color. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So, I will use my thumb yeah so I'm gonna put that there first yeah that's a nice one can you see that yeah oh you need a rag okay to clean off uh, so also clean this off too wash the brush don't forget to close this up so that's what we're going to do. Keep on doing it. Yeah. And just the next one. That's yellow. Let me just put that one straight away there. Okay. That's the next one. Whoa. Okay. Add more. I want the yellow to really come out. Yep. So you can see the millipede is starting to grow. It has two segments there now. So we'll go on to orange. I'm so excited. I really don't know how this will come out. Let's see how it will come out. Okie dokie. Now we go on to orange. So we get the orange. The orange is so close to the yellow. So let's see if we can make it a bit orange. Okay. There we are. Place that there. Yeah. Let's add more colors. Is that there? Okay. There we go. Cleaning my thumb again. Place this back. This is the fourth color. It's green. Mm -hmm. Four to go. We're doing the fourth one. Oh, I like that green. It really came out nice. Yep, that doesn't need any extra. Clean the brush. And now we're on to blue. And there we are. Blue. Okay. 
Yep, I can see my turn there. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Almost there. I'll take this collar here. not look like uh well let's use it all the same okay looks kind of uh creamish or pinkish but there it goes yeah and finally mist purple yeah didn't get all the colors of the rainbow per se but there we are mm -hmm. it's Mr. Purple yeah yeah I kind of raised the purple because I'm going to use that as the head there we are we're through with that now clean the fingers yeah now we're going to use the marker to draw the legs and uh, the antenna, the eyes. But before we do that, before we do that, okay, um, the colors must be properly dried, okay? So, yeah, so we have uh, our colors, our poster colors are almost dried now, so we can safely take the the black marker and bring out the eyes the antenna let's start with the antenna first so we have yeah that's the antenna and then we have the eyes just two dots and a smiley face we don't want a frowny uh, a centipede or rather caterpillar uh -huh. now we're going to put some nice legs Let's put the legs like that. Uh huh. Let's make this one go backwards and this one forwards, like you know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep, that looks so good. So here we have our multicolored uh, caterpillar. Uh, for some of you that may not know how to spell the caterpillar let's let's do that it's a c a t e r p i l a r yeah there we are Caterpillar. Yeah, that's it. So, guys, this comes. Th this is where the uh, fun part begins. Mm -hmm. This is where the fun part begins. We're going to paint some background colors. Uh, I usually like to create this sky, grass, sun, scenery. Okay, so let's take that and just put a nice. As the sunshine as you can guess there we are and next we put the sky that's the color blue there yeah I need to be careful here yeah I love doing this backgrounds, you know, backgrounds actually make your artwork come so alive. Yeah. Okay. So let's just be very careful there. There are different ways of making your background. You can actually create your background first before uh, drawing the caterpillar. Usually I prefer that way, but 
some kids prefer this way because they kind of get a little bit confused at times. Okay. There we are. So Mr. Caterpillar is out in the sunshine and we have coronavirus going on. So I think uh, at the end of the day, we are going to give him a mask to wear. Okay, just add a little bit of water there. Right, then. Now we're going to put uh, grass. Let's put the grass. I'm going to paint over the word, the caterpillar word. But first of all, let's just get this. Uh... Yeah, I'll make it look like grass. Okay. Yeah. So this painting is for primary two. Usually six years old, seven years old. They love painting a lot, you know. So I'll take water and just do that. Okay. Then let's give it that grassy look. Yep. So, now the last thing we're going to do, we're going to wear him a face mask because we've been told you're going out, you must wear a face mask. So, there we are. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's it. There. I hope you enjoyed the painting of the caterpillar and I hope you can try it out yourself. It's not difficult. It's fingerprints and you can do as many as possible, okay? Thanks for watching. <laughs>